Hey guys, this is Miklos Meyer, and in this video I will process some of my favorite knife photos in Adobe Lightroom using my Lightroom preset pack. So let's get started. So I'm gonna go into the develop module and as you can see I've created three preset groups, one for white balance, one for levels and one for specific colors and tones. When processing night photos, white balance is key. That's why I've created several white balance presets. This preset is for pictures that were taken after sunset. This is for pictures taken in the early blue hour. This is for pictures taken in the late blue hour. And this is for nighttime. And this is another nighttime white balance setting, but it's a little bit cooler than the previous. I think here this nighttime white balance will just do a good job. The next step when editing a night photo is to adjust the levels. This was taken well after the blue hour and the shadows therefore are very black, very dark and the highlights are very very bright. So I will need to extend the dynamic range or in other words I will have to drag the highlights down and push the shadows up and for this purpose I've created several presets with different strengths. So here I think um, this one, this extend dynamic range 4 or 5, I think 4 will be just fine but I could apply 5 here. With knife photography you can have so many variations, I think 4 will be just fine here. And basically that's it, I'm done editing with the photo. Now let's head on to the next one. So this one was taken in the blue hour. So let's see how my presets work here. Blue hour late, I think this blue hour late white balance is just fine. And I'm going to extend the dynamic range again a bit. I think this is a bit too strong, this is a bit too bright. I think this extend the dynamic range second is just fine. And basically that's it, I'm done editing this photo as well. So I'm going to go to the next one. Oh, this is one of my favorite shots. This is the Hungarian Parliament building opposite of the Danube River. As you can see, it's really, really warm and orangey here. So the white balance is a little bit off. So let's adjust the white balance first. I think I will go for this nighttime white balance cooler. That's good. And now let's adjust the levels. That's just fine. Yes, this photo was taken well after blue hour, so it's very, very dark and black. But I've created a, a preset with which I can kind of fake the blue hour look. It just elevates uh, the blacks a little bit and pushes them towards the blue. You can see now the blacks are blue. Check it out again. So this is undone and now I'm going to again apply the blue hour look. Look at this nice coolness and nice bluishness around the building. I really like how this preset adds a little bit of extra blue color to the shot. So that's it with just three clicks. I'm done editing with this photo as well. Now let's head on to the next one. This shot again was taken in the blue hour and as you might know the white balance changes quite rapidly in the blue hour. So let's find which preset works best here for the white balance. I think this is okay but I think this is even better, this blue hour late. And now let's adjust the levels. More, a bit more. I think this is just fine. But um, I will go with the second one. I think this is enough. Sometimes I don't want my night photos to be too bright. What you can see now here is that although the white balance is correct here on the castle. By the way, this is the Buddha castle and this is the Mateas church. The sky lost its very nice orange color. So I've created a brush. It's up here. It's called orange sunset. And with this brush, I will make sure that auto mask is selected. Uh, size is okay. With this brush, I'm just going to paint on the sky. Look at this. The sky is coming back to its original burning orange color. Excellent. So here's how it looks without the brush and here with the brush. It makes quite a big difference, no? So that's it. I'm done editing with this photo as well. 
This is a totally different shot. This is a shot of the Milky Way and the stars. You can see that it's quite flat, it's not contrast enough, the stars are not popping out from the sky, and the Y balance is a bit off. So first let's adjust the Y balance. Here's a preset called Stars Milky Way Y balance. Let's check that. And there's another preset called Milky Way Enhance. And you can see it created a huge difference. The Milky Way kind of pops out from the stars. But as you can also see, the foreground here got very, very dark and almost black. So I've created a brush just for this purpose. It's called Astro Landscape Foreground Brighten. And I'm going to paint on the foreground and it's going to bring all the nice details back. That's it. Um, that's it, it's done. Now I've created another brush to make the Milky Way pop out even more. There's this brush, Milky Way Enhance, and if you just paint over the Milky Way, it will enhance the stars over there. That's it. So let me show you the slight difference it made. So this was before I painted on the Milky Way and this was after I painted on the Milky Way. You can see that it's not a big change but it makes a little bit of difference. And here's one more night shot. Let's set the Y balance first. This is two yellow, again two yellow, two yellow. I think this nighttime will be fine, but this is a close call. Maybe this one will be also good. This was a quite hazy day, although you can't see it. And now let's adjust the levels. Not enough, not enough. This would be all right, but we can go for one more stronger. And I think this is good, that's it. And here maybe I can apply this muted landscape look if I want to. It decreases the contrast a bit and it gives the image a little bit of hazy, glowy feeling. I really like it. And also this can be combined quite nicely with this black and white preset as well. So this is my Lightroom preset pack dedicated for night photography. So in this preset pack there's a group of presets for white balance, there's a group of presets to adjust the levels, and there's a group of presets to add some specific colors. So basically that's it. I've created this preset pack for myself in the first place because I sit too much time in front of the computer and using these presets it really simplifies my workflow. Now I'm not going to say that this preset pack will change your life and you will not have to process your photos at all and all your time will be freed up. That would be just an over exaggeration but using these developer presets in a logical order will make the processing a lot more straightforward. So there's going to be a link in the description down below where you can uh, buy and download this whole Lightroom preset pack. I hope that you liked today's video. You can subscribe over there and you can also hit the notification bell so you will not miss any of my new content. See you soon!